Hello and gents, Ro here, and welcome to Normal Films. Today we're going to continue our Final Cut Pro 10.2.2 tutorials, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys the basics of how to create a project and some of the basic editing options, and we're just going to go through the motions of showing you guys the basics of Final Cut Pro. So let's go ahead and open up Final Cut Pro. I'm going to be here in my library, which is already created, and uh, you'll most likely be prompted to create one. But in my library, and then I have an event within my library called Tutorials, and that's where I'm at. And we're going to go ahead and I'm just going to go File at the very top and New and Project while I'm in my library. I'm going to call this project New Tutorial. And uh, it's giving you several options here that you can choose of basically the presets for your project of what you want it to be. I want it to be custom, 1080p, 1920, 1080p, 30 frames per second, nothing too fancy but then at the same time it's still good quality so hit ok and now that's all set you'll notice the project will pop up here double clicking on that project will open it up in your timeline if it already hasn't so i already have media imported here but i'm going to go ahead and drag my media here that i already have all you got to do to import the media is you can either drag and drop it straight into your library from your desktop or you can go to file import media just like that so I have this clip, I'm going to go ahead and just drag and drop that straight into my timeline here. And I'm going to move the play ahead around, I'm going to actually make some split clips. Now uh, the command key, shortcut key, to split a clip, for example if you want to split it here, split it here, and in other words it's the blade tool, which you may find right here within your actual tools. But uh, there is a shortcut for this, if you hit command B, it will just split it right there for you. Now you got, you see, I got two different clips just like that. And you can click and drag and move these as you like. For example, if you want to create a quick picture in picture, just drag one on top of the other. But uh, before I get into that, I'm just going to make more of these uh, split clips. I'm going to do like maybe three of these. And uh, I'm just doing this as an example to show you guys some of the basics. Now you notice I have like five different clips here all together that were split from one clip. Let's go ahead and add uh, a text to the beginning of my clip. So I'm going to go to the right hand side. This is going to be where your editing options are at. And uh, you'll have several options within Final Cut for your, uh, you got 3D text, 3D cinematic, build in, build out. I'm just going to go all and kind of scroll through these until I see what, something I like. And uh, let's look at this fold. As you can see, there's the text. We've got one that's grow or glow. <laughs> And then you just gotta play around through these, see what you like. That's basically how it works. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna choose this uh, standard dynamic. Oh, never mind. The continuous one. We're just gonna do, choose the continuous one. I'm gonna put it right at the beginning of our clip, expand it, and we're gonna make it. You can see the timer right here at the very top as I drag the edge of the clip. You'll notice, I mean, of the actual title. You can see the time of it right there. Also, if you select the clip and you want to adjust it, you can make it actually shorter or longer, just like this. And what it's doing is, when I make it longer, for example, you're like, wait, you just split that clip and you're making it longer. Well, it's grabbing basically the rest of it from here and it's in, and it's just adding it to the clip itself again. If you, if I hope I explained that correctly. But uh, double clicking on this text, you'll have the option to edit it, and you can just put in whatever you please. I'm going to put hey there and you can't quite see it just yet. Um, but if I move it, you can just click and drag it just like this. You can put it wherever you want on the screen, just like this. You can tell it's just all white. So I'm going to go ahead and double click inside of the text and I'm going to open up this inspector pane. Right hand side, these two little uh, switches looking icons and I'll open up this additional window with the titles and text uh, tabs at the very top, video and then info as well. With the text, I'm going to adjust the size so we can see a little better, and I'm also going to change the face color to something we can also see a little better. And if you just simply drag within this window while clicked in, you'll be able to see the color change of the actual text right away. So we're going to do a little dark red in there, and I'm going to adjust this text. I'm going to put it at the very top of my screen, just about there. And then those aligning help you as well to help you align that text. Now, I think it's still a little hard to see, so I'm gonna add, and you can you have so many options here. If you just, all you gotta do is just scroll through them and you'll be able to see them. But I'm gonna go to the text tab, 
And uh, from here, we can actually choose the style. These are just basic built-in styles. You can adjust these yourself, though. I'm gonna go to glossy green, just because I think it looks kind of cool. So hey there, there we are. We got glossy green. From here, you can adjust the size again. You can align it and add additional 3D effects as well to it. Um, uh, now we're gonna go into our next clip, and what we're gonna do, we're actually going to um, add a transition between these two clips so that the, the well, I'm actually first, this is pretty good too. If you go to the very bottom here, at the very bottom, you can adjust the volume, quickly adjust the audio of the, you can either include it a lot or reduce it. Now you can precisely adjust the audio for that particular clip by going to the audio section of the actual uh, inspector pane here. I'm gonna keep this open and I'm gonna keep our editing options open as well so we can see this but you can minimize these if they get in the way and you want to have a better view of your screen. We're going to keep it all open right now. So uh, with our first clip, we just lowered its volume all the way. We're going to actually reduce the volume of all these clips so they don't um, really distract us as we're editing here. But so let's go ahead and add in that transition between clip one and clip two. Transitions are right here just next to the actual uh, the text, titles and text. And uh, you can see several, if you just simply scroll over them, you'll see how these work and uh, what they do as in a transition form. I'm gonna do this cool one that's kind of bending. Uh, it's called the black hole. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put it right in here. And uh, the transition automatically in the top right, you can adjust its echoes. So you can adjust so much different um, items that focus the transition, the length of it, of how much like the transition goes in. You can make it 12 seconds, 4 seconds is the default actually. But I'm going to change it to 5 seconds and I'm going to play this transition now by simply put, moving my play ahead to where I want to play from and then hitting the space button to play and you'll notice the transition go just like that. Now for our second clip here we're also going to add an effect and your effects are the far left hand um, editing option here as well. But if you simply hover all over these options, you'll be able to tell, it'll let you know right away of what they are. You got music and sound here, got transitions, titles and text, got generators, got themes, um, picture browser, and then also your effects, which is what we're doing right now. And uh, if also, just like, just like the transitions, you can scroll over these and see the effects in action right on your clip without even having to apply it first. So we're gonna go ahead and add this bad TV and drag it straight on top of our um, effect. You can also double click and it will just it will uh, adjust just as well. Now I'm gonna go ahead and play from uh, this and you'll notice the change. Uh, the transition takes us into a bad TV effect. Now uh, we're also gonna add another transition. Actually that's the titles and text. We're just gonna do this 3D rectangle. Quickly drag it in here between this other clip and uh, you'll notice that transition takes us back into the normal view of our clip right here. Now another cool feature is if you hit uh, Alt Option D, actually no no no, hit Control D while selecting a clip, you'll be able to access its duration and you can put a specific duration. For example, let's say you want this clip in particular to be five seconds long. Simply put in five on your keyboard and hit period and, it'll, and hit enter. It'll make that clip from the start five seconds long. And then you hit command Z, which is also a very important, a very good uh, command key to know. Command Z is to undo your last um, edit or change that you made. And you can keep hitting command Z if you didn't like several changes that you made. And uh, I hope you don't ever have to do that because uh, that, that's never fun. <laughs> um, moving on, let's also cover, let's go ahead and add a song in here. I'm gonna go and, and browse through my music tab right here in the editing options. And uh, we have several Final Cut Pro sound effects and stuff, but you can also browse your iTunes library. If you scroll down here, we'll go through your playlists. I do only recommend using 10 seconds of a song if you're gonna upload it to YouTube. But other than that, if it's just for family, go ahead and use any song you you like <laughs> but uh, that's that's honestly the basics of this tutorial thus far now we're gonna go ahead we edited our project we ended it and we're actually going ahead and delete this last portion and we're gonna add a background to this well an ending background in a sense I'm gonna go to our video generators these are like uh, animations by themselves that you can use to add like if you wanted to add 
text on top of them if you wanted to like a break or a pause in a video for example these would be great to use so i'm going to go ahead and drag and drop this straight into the end section of my actual video and uh, we're going to go back to the text and we're going to put in some text as well. we're going to do basic 3d text and we're going to drag it straight on top here grab the edge of it very um, end of it and then drag it to the end of the actual video now you'll notice we have, uh, if we move our playhead straight over the, gener the background with the text, we'll notice the text is there. Now I'm gonna double click on the text, I'm gonna adjust it, say goodbye. And uh, let's go ahead and add some more styles, let's do some fantasy. And we might wanna increase the size of that as well. So it's clear to see, just like this. And then we're gonna checkbox this 3D text and we're gonna add a lot more depth to it. And you'll notice the text actually expand right there in front of you as you notice the depth. And then you can do weight and it just looks a lot more bulkier. And when we lost the, we probably lost the color as well. And from here you can go to the title and then adjust the colors or as you uh, choose. <laughs> but there's so many options here. All you gotta do is just go through them and honestly read them and look what you're looking for in particular. And there we have it. There we have our uh, final uh, ending of our clip. And it goes straight into the goodbye. Now, uh, I did say we we're going to add an audio, but I showed you guys the audio, and uh, it would be honestly slow down on my computer a little too much as of right now if I was to add an audio clip. So I'm going to show you guys the ending. Uh, once you're done editing, all you got to do is go to the top, to the far right over here. I'm going to minimize this and minimize my text go ahead and show you guys where I started so here's my timeline with my project and it shows you right here at the very bottom it's a minute and 23 seconds and 23 seconds in total at 1080p HD 30 frames per second and uh, right here to the far right hand side you can see this little export or share option if you click this you can choose what you want to export to and I'm going to just export as master file which basically puts it I can put it wherever I want this file and to share it but once you've clicked on uh, your sharing option and how you want to export from here you're going to change the settings on the window that's come up here right here you can change the title of it get a description the creator tutorials and it gives you some basic um, information here at the bottom you can also scroll through it make sure it all looks right you can go to settings over here and then change um, how you export and what kind of quality and uh, additional options and how you want to view it as well from here and then just hit next and it'll have you choose where you want to save it and you should be all good to go be sure to leave any questions in the comment section below i will have a link in the description for you guys for list for <laughs> a playlist of all my final cut pro tutorials i thought i would do a tutorial like this going through basically most of the common editing options showing you guys the basics but that's basically it for this video thank you guys for watching and later so let